Hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jess Hoffert and I'm the new communications intern for the Northern Plains District. Um, I was called uh, to this position back in July by Tim and I gratefully signed on and I started in August. And I'm really thankful that I did um, answer Tim's call for this position. It's something I've thoroughly enjoyed thus far. Um, obviously, I'm not physically with you at the moment. I'm back at my apartment in Des Moines. Um, but even though you and I are in separate spaces, we did somehow end up in the same room together, um, which is part of what I think this whole new communications position is all about. So I'd just like to briefly go over a couple of the things that Tim and I have been working on and have already implemented, and also a couple things that we have planned for the future. The district has a new free video conferencing program called UVU. It's a weird name, but it works great. Uh, for those who can't make the trip to district meetings that are far away, they can join via UVU. Um, the only requirements are that the meeting space has wireless internet capability, and the person joining the meeting has a webcam for their computer. Basically, UVU is a video conferencing system um, that works when the person hosting the meeting just sends a link to join the meeting, and then the person on the other end clicks the link and they show up on the video screen on a laptop at that meeting. So it's really easy to make it work. You don't have to download any software. Uh, webcams are relatively inexpensive these days at places like Best Buy and Target. Uh, so for those who are far away, uh, joining meetings through UVU could really be a much cheaper, more efficient way to participate in meetings that are a ways away. Uh, you may have already checked out the new district website, and if you haven't, please do. It's located at nplains.org, and we continue to update content on a weekly basis. The website is basically a central hub for information about congregations and events with links to the district newsletter and other important documents. Our newest feature on the website is the Sharing Our Stories page, which, which provides a space for any and all members of our district to submit stories, photos, and videos that have a special spiritual meaning to them. I think this new page fits perfectly with the district's new These Hands, This Voice, These Times initiative. I'm excited for the potential of this page and I encourage you to share this information with your congregations if you haven't already done so. Another great way to stay in touch with district happenings and announcements is through our, our new Facebook page. Simply like Northern Plains District on Facebook and you'll receive updates on new events as well as photos from previous events. Almost everything we post on Facebook will also be posted on the website, so don't worry if you're not a Facebook addict like I am. This is just a way for those on Facebook to interact with the district on another level. Now I assume most, if not all of you, receive district news and announcements in your email inboxes, and you may have noticed a major change in its design earlier this month. I've redone the newsletter in hopes that it's more easy to navigate, as well as more pleasing to the eye. Instead of scrolling through the entire document to find what you're looking for, all you need to do is click on the link at the top of the newsletter and it will take you right to the story you're looking for. Another randomly fun feature that I've at least had some fun with it's not totally necessary, but you can translate the newsletter into more than 30 different languages, and here it is auf Deutsch. Finally, I would like to mention something that we are working on for the near future, and that is expanding our district prayer ministry. Our goal with this is for each church in the district to have what we're calling a communications partner who regularly sends me general prayer requests as well as current missional outreach work that uh, the church is doing. I will then post that information on the website so each week when your congregation is praying for another church, you can access the website to see what their specific prayer requests are. I already have communications partners from four different congregations, but the sooner we get partners from other churches, the sooner we can start what I think is a valuable new prayer ministry. 
With that said, I would encourage you to think about someone in your congregation who would be good at regularly sending me updates about the church on a semi-weekly or monthly basis. And don't forget to consider yourself for this position as well. It really isn't a big time commitment, but I think it will make a big difference. Those interested in being communications partners for their congregation can email me at nplainscom at gmail.com. This is also where you can submit essays, photos, and videos for the Sharing Our Stories page on the website. I'm also happy to receive submissions for district news and announcements, as well as any other questions or comments you have for me. I know technology can sometimes be used as a divisive tool in today's society, but I see my role as making it an accessible tool that brings the district closer together. I've had a lot of brain, uh, fun brainstorming new uh, ways to do this, and I've learned a lot experimenting with new programs and technology. If you have any suggestions as how I can best be utilizing my time as uh, the communications intern, please don't hesitate to message me. Um, I welcome any questions, comments, concerns, and especially ideas. Um, and finally, if you have any questions, obviously I'm not here to answer them at the moment, but I'm sure Tim would be happy to do that for me. From me and Max, thank you so much for your time and God bless.